So we get contacted by a ton of companies from Chinese light bar companies to everybody wanting to test their products and this company Airshine Pro reached out to me and as soon as I seen their product I thought we need that in the garage because I always need the I have a pressure washer but it's you know you gotta drag the hose out and everything to <clears throat> to wash a mini bike or a go-kart so when I seen this I went on their website and checked it out this is basically a full cleaning system in like a five gallon bucket it you hook it up to an air compressor then it has a little gun that comes with it and this rinses washes and dries all in one little package and you can do it in a small space like this garage because uh when we pulled the shifter cart back in the yerf dog it had sand all over the axle and instead of pulling a hose out and stuff i stripped the whole axle down had to hand wash everything in the sink and then uh, sprayed everything down with wd-40 to keep it from rusting but if i would have had this then i could have just you know sprayed it off right here in the garage not made a big mess and it would have been quick to dry because i could have put a fan on what little bit of water got on the ground so we're going to be trying this out on the military bike. We've got to get it ready to do the, the glamour shots, as I call them. It's supposed to be a pretty simple setup. It comes with three tips. He actually gave me an extra set, so I, it only comes with one of these metal tips. But like I said, I got an extra set of them. Uh, these three tips are for drying. The blue, red, and the little needle. So basically, the needle's going to have the most pressure, you know, pointed at a small area. Then the reds, the next, you know, a little bit less pressure, and then blues, the lightest pressure when drying off the bike. Uh, so from what I understand, you're just going to need an air compressor, five to ten gallon. You know, you can. I doubt a pancake compressor would keep up with it unless it's like an industrial D water or something made to run constantly. But we have a 35 gallon, so we should be perfectly fine. It says anywhere from 120. I think yeah 120 to 135 psi and I believe my my regulator set at 135 so when you open it up <clears throat> you see the hoses running from the guns to a few valves you have a water jug inside and a soapy water jug so basically you can control these uh, with these switches up here you can turn water on or turn the soap on so you can you know wet down your your vehicle then soap it up and then wash it back off and then dry it so uh, we're gonna get this thing ready and try this. So he said to use about three squirts of dishwashing liquid. Now I like how it's all set up, compact little setup. He said three squirts. One, two, three. The third one was a little long one. <laughs> and I'm just using uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. Dawn's about the best because it'll get it breaks down grease and oil. Probably. It's made to wash, so all the way to the top. All right. Now I can fill up this the just standard water. This way, go grab some more water. Okay. So we got it all loaded up. Now we can hook the air up to it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure. Mine is set at 130 PSI. I'm scared. The mile! So. We're going to test it out on the concrete. There we go. That's pretty sweet. can try the soap. Sweet little setup. 
And it'd probably be nice if I had a squeegee. Really not that big of a mess. setting before we started this build on it is set for six months it wasn't extremely dirty we have another go-kart we're going to clean uh, probably right after this one and we can use a uh, a big floor brush to you know sweep out all this water but we have a Coleman go-kart that I need to do the same thing clean it up to take my real clean slider shots and stuff so this is going to come in crazy handy because I can wash it in here or right outside the garage if I didn't want the water mess because it is washing but you can see under the bike all the dirt I'm letting my air compressor catch up because I don't want to sit there and just run it non-stop it's just a you know 35 gallon 110 compressor and to clean up the water like I said I can use floor brush And it's washing my floor at the same time. Double use. So, I have the water on, the soap off now. So basically, this controls the water bucket inside. This one controls the soap bucket. Then if you want to air dry, you turn both off. So now we're going to rinse. And it'll take a minute to get that soap back out of the line. So we got it rinsed off now I'm letting my compressor catch back up because again I don't want it running more than it has to so now we can completely dry the bike which is also a big deal because we don't have to let it air dry or hand dry it with a bunch of chamois cloths um, so now we just need to turn the soap and the water off and there we go it'll take a minute for that water to get out of there oh oh boy <laughs> oh boy Okay, now we can use, I can try the red tip. It's like a, you know, a medium pressure tip. That is awesome. So that took me less than five minutes and I did a really quick wash on this because it didn't have to be like crazy spotless uh, but it it worked flawless this frame has a bunch of paint chips on it so if you're seeing stuff like the kickstand is all beat up from where we hit stuff with it it got everything off though it had a ton of mud built up on the block from the front tire it had a ton of mud built up on the back of the block from the rear tire and it just did an awesome job and it took me five minutes and I did brush the water out two times but my garage is angled where the concrete goes this way so any water is going to run to that wall and that's the only reason I had to do it if you're in a standard garage where it's kind of angled to the door 
then you wouldn't have no problem the water would flow and i didn't have much water to wash a whole entire mini bike inside i couldn't have done this with anything else a water hose i'd have had water everywhere so i'd have flooded this place so we're going to actually like i said i really fast did a real quick wash because we need to get this video done on this bike but we'll pull the coleman in after we get back from filming this bike and it's got quite a bit of dirt on it so it'll be good to see how it can handle a really dirty project so we'll get this now of the garage and we'll pull that coleman in and get to washing it Uh, so we have to sweep the water out but this is very little water for almost completely washing the go-kart now we do have to hand scrub some stuff like that vinyl seat has got some it's almost like mold growing on it just from the trees we have around our house but for the most part like it's taken off there was a couple piles of bird poo on this and it just blew it right away didn't have to scrub that at all there was a bunch of bugs stuck to the slot bar and it's blowing it all away and this is still the same water and soap we mixed and we've already washed the mini bike so we haven't added anything to this and we have you know fully washed another go-kart so i'm probably going to get a brush out scrub the problem areas like the seat there's a few places like on the back of the seat that vinyl likes to hold dirt really well so i wouldn't expect this something like this to get out of pressure washer would but then you're risking tearing your vinyl so um but this is awesome to be able to wash this inside i'm not out in the heat or in the sun or on dirt because we don't have any concrete outside so I'm gonna completely finish blowing all the, the light stuff off and then I'll hand scrub like the seat and a few other problem areas and we'll get this thing cleaned up. So after washing the whole mini bike and getting this about 75% washed, we're finally out of soap water, which is extremely well. So that means we use to wash Half, more than half this go-kart in a full mini bike we use less than a half gallon of water so that's pretty impressive so we'll put some more dishwashing liquid in water and continue washing this thing so the airshine pro made this thing look brand new of course we put some tire shine on the tires and whatnot but it took a total of using the airshine pro to wash this thing probably like 25 to 30 minutes we had to scrub on the problem areas like the there was some oil oil that was built up on the engine from where our catch can leaked this air filter actually threw some oil out when we was really riding a rough but other than little problem areas right there and there was some thick stuff on the back of the seat that we had in the hand scrub the thing looks better than it did new actually because the tire shine one thing we forgot to do was the back of the wheels 
back of the rear wheels that is but everything came super clean this was covered in a bunch of oil it looks awesome so i'm going to be using this air shine pro on almost every project so this is a product i definitely recommend because we'll be using it constantly here in the garage this thing looks brand new i'll do some clean shots of it so you can see it and uh get this combing off to its new owner Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.